Your social media can be rich, it can be healthy, it can be full of life, it can be full of motivation, and it can be full of encouragement and love. So Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Agumbiade. If you're new here, you are highly welcome. Please do well to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I appreciate your encouragement so much. It encourages me. Please, I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Comments, 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 comments. If you're new, if you're returning, please share a comment. Say hello. Say hi. Say something after you watch this video, okay? Thank you. Just encourage me, okay? The first thing on my list is for you to also note that this is the end time. So a lot of bad things are going to be happening online. A lot of bad things are going to be happening all over the world. Jesus has already told us that. So get ready. It's going to come. But the best thing you can do for yourself is to prepare yourself and also to be able to guard your heart. I did a video on how to guard your heart. If you've not watched it, please go check it out. I did a video like that. So I'll be able to guard your heart and protect yourself against all of the things that are going to be coming. Right? The first tip I'd like to give is for you to be deliberate about the persons you follow on social media. Who you follow and who who you follow follows is very important because that will determine the kind of content and the kind of feeds, the kind of sponsored ad, you know, all of things that are going to be coming on your own social media page. So if the persons you are following are following nudity and sex, you are likely going to be seeing that on your page, right? I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> the next tip I'd like to give you is for you to filter every information you receive on social media because not everything you see on social media is 100% true. A lot of these things are acted out. A lot of these things are fake because people are out there desperate about being popular, desperate about fame, desperate about making money. So they will do anything. They will put anything online to make sure that yeah, they make it in this life. So filter. Thank God that we have the Holy Spirit in us so you are able to discern the true ones and the fake ones. So you receive the Spirit to be discerned in the name of Jesus. The next tip I also like to give is avoid, avoid people or pages that put you under unnecessary pressure. If you feel like this particular person you're watching is always making you to want to show them, to want to prove, to want to do, you, know, you understand what I mean? You have to be able to cut this person off of your social media and focus on the course, right? On what you're doing. So avoid, you know, people that are always talking about preparing them, tensioning people, trying to tension you, trying to do that. Because to be honest, one way or the other, they have a way of putting pressure on you. The next tip is for you to be content with your life, right? We have a healthy self-esteem. Know that you're also in a process that you're going to get there. You're going to make that money. You're going to buy that Benz. Be content with what God has given you. Where you are right now is where God wants you to be. And if you need any much more, God will give you that, right? If you've not seen my video on how to develop a healthy self-esteem, how to love yourself, you know, because these are the foundations where all of these things stem from. If you don't, if you don't love yourself, you don't love your life, you don't like yourself, you're likely going to want to be like another person. You can never be like another person. If you are trying to be like another person, you are killing the creativity that the world is looking for you probably have something that the world needs and if you continue to want to be like somebody else how do we receive it social media is just 20 to 30 percent of people's real lives naturally people like to keep and document memories and moments in their lives so they are capturing when they went out they're capturing when they went to a restaurant they are capturing when they went to hang out it doesn't mean that that's what they do every day so know that and know peace they just try to capture fun, fun moments of your life. You can do the same and you will see how rich your life actually is. The next tip is for you to be self-aware. Being self-aware will be able to help you identify what each post and each content is doing to you. And it will give you the grace. It will help you, not the grace, but it will help you to be able to unfollow unhealthy content. You're self-aware. You know what you want. You know what you want to do. So if you see a post that is not in line with that, you cut it off. You're following somebody for a professional reason. And then you see that the person is not going in the line. You cut it off. Follow people in the same professional field, you know, as you are in the same field. Maybe you, you want to be, a, you wanna be a, a writer or a singer or a, a 
TV presenter and there's a particular person that is always doing that. And then whenever, you know, you watch that person, you feel motivated. You can go ahead and follow that person. But you also need to filter because it's not every information or everything that that person does is in, that is in line with God's will and purpose for your life. If you've not seen how to discover a purpose, it's going to be linked up here and it's going to be in the description box. Please go and watch it, right? So you are able to identify what you need per time. Okay? Last but not the least, follow godly contents. Follow people that know road. They say follow who know road. Who know road? No me say na who know where to get money. Who know road? Na person where they follow God. I don't know if that makes sense. Just follow the right people. Follow the god people with godly contents. Follow people that will further, you know, push you even to do the things that you've always desired to do and the things that God has called you to do. That's it guys for this particular video. I hope you found it helpful. Please do us to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. I'll see you guys again in my next video. I love you all. Mwah. Right? So help us God. Even me, I need to guard my heart. God help me. Honor with every submission, with every humility under God, Father. I receive grace to guard my heart. I hold that thought captive to the rest of my Jesus. I'm not going to be found want, found wanting. Having preached this word, I'm not going to be found wanting in the name of Jesus. I am going to be able to do even what I am saying. And I'm going to continue in it in the name of Jesus. <sighs> Father, have mercy. You say, oh, you who began a good work in me is faithful enough to complete it. Father, I ask that you complete the work that I have started in my life. That Lord, even in this end time, Lord, I'll be able to guard my heart. I'll be able to stay sane and stay put even upon your word in the name of Jesus. Because the enemy is funny.